What's going on everybody? We're here filming Metanormal. This is a new demo that just came out on the Steam shop uh, just like an hour ago. So I figured, hey, you know what? Lucky me. We get to be the first ones to check it out. All of us together. So um, I have my webcam up and operational for future videos, but for whatever reason, um, the GeForce from NVIDIA does not recognize this game. So I can't use the webcam on it, so I'm using the Windows setup. But anyway, um, just so you guys know, this game, Metanormal, is like a bullet hell style game in addition to a visual novel, in addition to an RPG. So it's kind of an interesting take on it. I played a little bit of it just so I could kind of get my bearings before I showed it off to you guys. But um, it's very text heavy. I'm going to let you know right now it's very text heavy for like the first five or ten minutes of the game. So I'm going to set the, I already set the settings to um, fast text speed. So if you are interested in watching this, please read uh, carefully. Otherwise, I'm going to provide some links uh, either earlier in the video or right now or slightly after, but right around now. Provide some links for you guys to go to some other videos that would be maybe a little bit more exciting. Um, but if you're in the mood for a visual novel, this is definitely more of that than anything else. So without further ado, um, here is Meta Normal. Yes, we're going to do it in game. So I've got my new microphone up and operational, so hopefully the audio quality will be pretty good. What are you saving? There's nothing to save. I, I could see at least a few different ways that this game could be improved. Um, maybe you guys could let me know in the comments as, we're, as I'm playing this game um, how you think the developers could improve it. And uh, maybe I'll pass that along to them or you can write them directly. So I think this guy's kind of British, so I'm going to try to do my best British accent for him. I guess I'm here early. They should be here soon. Thank gods we're done with school, though. Now we could relax back here like we used to again. Finally. Hey, Desi. I'm not even going to try to do her voice. Fucking hell. Oh, damn. Your face. Holy shit. That was fucking great. What, my face? Or is it shit? Or what? What's going on? What? Very funny. You've got to stop doing that. I heard a scream. Where did Cecilia do this time? What did she do this time? Hey, look. It's Morty. Or Mimi. You know, Milo, for a guy who's insistent on punctuality, you're really not. Swords, huh? That's an interesting choice. Okay, so she's going to teach me the combat of the game, which is like bullet hell style. She looks a little bit like um, one of the girls from Avatar, The Last Airbender. Or she looks like she could at least belong in that universe. You gotta do some warm-ups. Girl, I'm warm, don't worry about me. I'm blazing. Okay, now practice some attacks. Avoid touching the enemy's attacks, okay. Simple enough. Or at least you would think so. So you can use either the analog stick or the directional pad. I'm using the directional pad. I find it to be a lot more accurate. Okay, so now I gotta get my ass in that circle. Dot. 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 Cool, I'm kicking her ass. Because that's what heroes do. They kick their friend's ass. Oh, we're ready. I'm about to serve you up a can of whoop-ass, girl. So the trick is, you gotta dodge these attacks, keep the dot in the circle, and there's also gonna be these little green orbs that are gonna bounce around. See? You don't got nothing for me, girl. So that's like the most action that's gonna happen, probably for like the next five minutes at least. So, um, if you're in this for the visual novel part, then, you know, stay tuned for the story. Otherwise, you might as well, like, click on another video, because this game is pretty, and it's a great story so far, but not a lot of action. Why are you chasing this poor fellow? He's my frog friend that I met. 
Your face is a frog. Looks like it, yeah. Ha ha ha. Yeah, that little uh, lily pad in the water looks like Miss Pac-Man. Waka 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 waka. Waka 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 waka. Ferns, so just the usual. Oh, there's something else. I've um, I've also decided on the university I'm going to attend. Oh, cool. It must not have been an easy choice with all them practically begging you to join. Which one did you choose? Um, I chose the University of Raylin. I finished the paperwork earlier. It's the most prestigious school in the country, but it's also in the capital. That means, uh, that means you're going to have to leave at the end of the summer. Oh no, I'm afraid that's correct. Dude, why are you wearing your lab coat out in the middle of the woods? Oh, she she likes you, dude. I want to start my own farm. You do not look like a farm girl. But, you know, hey, you can't judge a book by its cover, right? Hmm, can't say I'm surprised that you dig me. I am kind of doctorly, after all. Yeah, you do great in that role. As a farmer, I mean. I mean, look at you. To be honest, I'm not quite sure, because I'm just a doll with a stupid-looking v-neck sweater. <clears throat> I haven't really given it much thought. One last summer together, right on, man. Party! Yeah, 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 brighten up our day, you're absolutely right, we need to savor each other, we need to savor each other every moment we have left with one another, and, um, like, go back to my place and, you know, do a little threesome action. Exactly! Well, let's get going, then. Ah, perfect timing. Why do they all look like Morty from Rick and Morty? Like, even the woman. Bye, Miss Pac-Man. Or Miss Ms. Pac-Man. Why'd we stop? I don't know, dude. I lost track of the squirrel I was following. Oh, she's a bubblehead. And here I thought you were actually leading us. Hey, look. Bright, shiny. Mushrooms. Uh-oh, mushrooms and anime. You know what happens next. Cecilia, don't touch them. You don't know if they're harmful or not. Yeah, I do. I'm so smart. These look like the ones my aunt serves. My auntie. A lot of mushrooms look edible, but some of them are actually phallic. You can't know for certain which ones are and which ones aren't just by the look. Doctor, why'd you stop talking? I was gonna say, is that like a fart or like a stomach rumbling? But all the trees are swaying. Hello, Earth to Desmond. Earth to Desmond. I want to bring this bunch home to cook, but I don't want to just pluck them. Can you lend me your sharp thing, please? Whoa, I've never had a girl ask me that. Sure, baby, you can hold my sharp thing. Uh, whatever that means. My, my, what? Your sharp pointy thing thingy thing. Wait, did you honestly just forget the word knife? Actually, I thought it was a sword. Just shush your face and gimme. Oh, that was her. Oopsie. Cecilia, I'm telling you, aren't these the same mushrooms that you eat? Those don't grow around here. These are the similar subspecies. You can tell the difference by the by the white spots underneath, like these do. See, I do listen when you lecture us. I don't understand. I, I don't understand. That can't be right. These mushrooms aren't native to this region. All I know is that I'm eating good tonight, and that's good enough for me. Actually, it's eating well, not eating good. Whatever, dude. You know what, Milo? Why don't you go fuck off? Go bugger off. You're a real fun guy. Oh, she's corny and she's a bubblehead. Oh, where have you been my whole life? <clears throat> Not really. Um, holy smokes, guys. Look. The first flyers of the season. Squeak. Well, just look at them glow. Nature's, oh, nature's perfect candle. All light and no heat. I've never seen this many in one place. Okay, so we're all just going to stand there, like, completely zoned out. And here goes everything shaking again. What the? Why does my hand look all gross? Ha 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 I am the chosen one. 
It seems a little bit too early for them to start showing up, especially in large groups like these. Haha, <laughs> who cares? I'm just glad they're here. Tee -hee. Been looking to them ever since last summer. Looking forward to them. Well, let's get going, guys. It's getting night. All right. Don't worry, Cecilia. We can shack up. Without him. Oh, and why with the stutters? Why? So yeah, that clip just took like five minutes and we haven't even got to the village yet. Holy crap. Hey, look, it's a monk. Now what do we have here? What shenanigans are my favorite student, I mean former students, up to? We were just in the forest then. We saw a whole swarm of flies. They were amazing everywhere. Fireflies? It's early in the season. Well, that's unusual. Oh, by the way, congratulations on your acceptance into the U of Art, whatever. Thanks, I really like your recommendation letter helped. Nonsense. That letter was just a required formality. Your work spoke for itself. I shouldn't be telling you this, but I have a friend that's an admissions counselor there, and she was blown away by your essays. Essay. She absolutely had to have you in her school. Well, it looks like it's really happening then. Uh, what's happening? The thing. The thing is happening. Butterfly Wrangler dreams, really? Pretty close, actually. I'm going to work on a farm until I can start my own. Oh, I should have known. Fucking idiot. I'm sure you'll do great. You've always been a fast learner when it came to hands-on lessons. I mean, you're really good with the hands-on stuff, if you know what I mean. I wish there was a fence. Frankly, I still have absolutely no idea. Well, you'll find your way. Ha ha ha. Idiot. We all do eventually. Ha ha ha. Speaking of ways, where are you headed? Me? I'm meeting a friend to discuss where research on the healing properties of... And everything starts shaking again. Or my stomach's rumbling. One of the two. And why am I the only one, like looking off into the woods and shit. Get home safely, you three, and remember, don't be strangers. You're all welcome in my home anytime. Especially you, Cecilia. What a creepy old dude. It's too bad there's only four people in the village. Until tomorrow, Desmond. Haha, <laughs> see you later. Don't die or anything like that. I'll try not to. What a really weird thing to say. Bye, guys. You fucking morons. So, um, what am I doing here? Everyone else seems to have their life planned out, and then there's me. What do you think, Otto? Otto? Wait, what? Just as helpful as always, thanks. So it's like he's an imaginary friend or something? Why do I even keep on imagining you here? There's part of the problem. I'm not a kid anymore. Just a... I'm just a moron. I need to start making actual adult choices. Eh, tomorrow. Maybe I should just flip a coin or something. Huh? What was that? Why is my eyebrow all jacked up? Sound like thunder or something. Well, just damn it. Cecilia didn't return my pocket knife. It was attached to my keys. What a dinky little pocket knife if it's attached to your keys. Shit. You. Oh no, the shadow got me. Desmond. Desmond. This is your mom. What? What? Don't worry, Desmond. You're safe now. I forgot to- I forgot to give you back your keys, so we came back to give them to you. That's when we heard you yelling and we saw you lying on the floor. Then we brought you into your home. Your mom isn't here, and we only molested you a little bit. Desmond, what happened? I- I don't remember. I'm not sure. It all happened so fast. Why am I speaking in short sentences? Don't strain yourself. I will check out all of your injuries. Like, for instance, your penis looks like it's hurting. Everything alright? 
We'll be back soon. Fuck. It feels like I got run over by a wagon. And now my eye won't open. I got this stupid shadow on my right face. You've never been run over by a wagon. How do you know what that feels like? What? Who's there? It's me, your mama. You're talking? Must have hit my head pretty hard. You're not imagining this. I really am speaking to you. What? Why? I mean, all these years and not a peep out of you, so why now? I'm not entirely sure, but we'll figure it out. Desmond, I'm not imaginary. I'm a spirit. Great, I'm delusional now, too. No, you don't understand, because you're a fool. I was wandering aimlessly, and then I found my way to you. Your grief brought us together. Sweet, sweet grief. It's complicated. Complicated? Complicated. Complicated? Complicated. You can only see me, you were attacked, you have the ability to interact with us, all the spirits around us getting stronger and stronger. That's why I'm able to talk to you, because the physical spirit hurt you. But why me? Why do I have this ability? And why did that spirit want to hurt me? And why do I just keep clutching my chest like this? Am I having a heart attack? Not sure. The spirit wanted your attention. I masked you. I hid you under my wing. But I'm not that strong. I can't fight them off. So basically you're fucked. We'll talk later. You need to rest. Wait, I have so much left to ask. Oh, hi. You should really lay down. Here, take this. It'll make you feel better. Punches him in the face. Oh, thanks. I feel better already. Where did... I was so scared, Desmond. I was fucking scared. And when I saw you lying on the ground like that... I can't imagine. It, it made me think... And that hurt. I'm not actually dying, Cecilia. I'm going to be just fine. I didn't know, but... I wish I didn't... But we can... But... I miss when things were simpler. Yeah, me too. And now everybody's up in my bedroom. Oh, it's Tenchi. Desmond, my poor baby. What happened? I'm fine, Mom. But I don't really remember what happened. And Dr. Kang, who looks like Ray from Star Wars. Seems like you're bruised up. Doesn't look like anything too serious, though. I'll just use my Jedi powers. Nothing that some rest won't cure. I have some medicine on the shelf that should help ease the pain. We're lucky you're in town, Dr. Kang. Aw, oh, she's got a pretty smile and, like, super huge eyes, like, bugging out of her head. Goodbye, Desmond. We'll come back tomorrow to see how you're doing. So you just showed up to say goodbye, you fuck. Feel better. Don't worry about me, Mom. You should get some sleep. I'll be alright. How can I not worry? I'm fine, really. I just need some rest. If you need anything, just shout for me. Just go, ah! And I'll hear you. Good night, dear. Are you sure that you'll be okay? I'm sure. Now go get some sleep, Mum. Otto, can you hear me? Otto, you there? Why do I keep speaking these short sentences? Guess I'll have to wait till morning then. Fucking prick abandoned me. Ooh, red flashy lightning. So I think I'm going to actually end this video off here. This will kind of give you a taste of what the game is like. There are more enemies, um, like kind of after this cutscene. Um, I go into the back into the woods where the fireflies were. There's like a little stone gate there. I walk through a portal. It takes me to like a twisted version of the same world, but there's enemies there. So um, anyway, that's kind of what happens. 
So, um, anyway, if you're interested in checking out this game, it just dropped on Steam. And uh, thank you guys very much for joining me. And I will probably not be playing this again because it's just way too much text. So, um, thank you guys, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.